Hey guys, <clears throat> this is Scott Scheidt. Those of you that know me know I'm the Chief Security Officer at Semitsu in Savannah, Georgia. Um, on the way back to the office from having had a consultation with a local, uh, hopefully potential uh, partner client here shortly, but it was another of many that I've had lately that hurts my professional spirit when it comes to wanting to make sure that everyone has the best cybersecurity protection and support available to them. From the perspective of this particular uh, consultation, this was an accounting firm. Small accounting firm, three to five personnel. I uh, went in and spoke with the owner who reached out to us and wanted to have a conversation about a little bit of growth they were having, opening an office in another state, and wanted to see about monitoring what that entailed to improve the cybersecurity posture for their uh, potential their their potential clients and current clients. Well, as an accounting firm, I shared with her that as of June the 9th of 2023, she fell under the compliance requirements of the Federal Trade Commission's safeguards rule. For those of you that don't know what that is, the FTC made June the 9th a day that all organizations that meets the definition of a financial entity was to be in compliance with their set of requirements for a cybersecurity program for the, that organization. This is where it gets tricky because other than on their website, the occasional news stories and those of us in the industry that have tried to keep up with it for those that we care about, almost nobody knows who falls under the definition of a financial institution. So real quick, accounting firms, bookkeepers, real estate agents, mortgage brokers, credit repair advisors, um, travel agents in some cases. These are classic fields who would not consider themselves a financial entity. According to the Federal Trade Commission, those are now areas that are financial institutions and must have a set of safeguards in place, cybersecurity related safeguards, that they don't have people on their staff to be able to do for them. They don't have a family member even that has a fraction of the cybersecurity training that's required of the FTC safeguards rule. So in this, as an example, this set of rules requires them to have a qualified person in charge of their cybersecurity program. It requires them to have a incident response plan. It requires them to do third party vetting of their vendors. That's three of the nine things, depending on the size of the organization, that is required now. So I'm trying to get our communities educated. I'm trying to help through some speaking engagements and consultations such as the one that we just had today. And so I wanted to share with anybody, if you have questions about the FTC safeguards rule, contact us at Sumitsu. Uh, the Sumitsu True Secure program, the virtual CISO solution that we've put together uh, overseen by myself and our team uh, is there to help you with meeting all these requirements and uh, understanding what the expectations are for your organization. So who am I to be able to help you with that? I'm an Army Reserve Lieutenant Colonel trained in military intelligence cyber operations. I have 31 years of service. I have dealt with uh, cybersecurity issues. I have also been a academic instructor building cybersecurity academic curriculums, uh, co-author on four cybersecurity textbooks that are used in uh, master's level programs around the world as far away as like British University of Dubai uh, and Macari in Australia. So my team has a background and understanding of what you need to be successful. And while I may not have the answers myself, my team, as I said, the team of Sumitsu, 39 year technologists uh, in the field of cybersecurity, IT security, IT management, fiber uh, at the enterprise class level, commercial grade, dark fiber for supporting organizations that need a closed loop on their data and their data security. We have that level of skill set to support you. So please reach out to us at Sumitsu and we look forward to hearing from you soon.
Thank you.